Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Another face shave. I'm not going to do my head today, I'm just going to let that fly. I chuck a hat on most days now and just sort of go on with it. It doesn't really bother me too much, but I've got about, I don't know, last time I had a shave on the camera, so about five, six days, something like that. Growth. The soap I'm going to be using is Wickham 1912. I picked this one out because this is one of my wife's favourite scents and she is currently in hospital. She had an operation today to seal a hole in her heart so they're going through the arterial uh, femoral artery or whatever it is in the leg and go up through that way and put a little patch in your heart and seal the hole up it's obviously it's not as invasive as you would think but there's obviously risks with every surgery especially with the heart so she's doing okay she's had a few little minor issues afterwards but she's doing all right so yeah, let's have a shave same brush channel the videos must be boring as shit out of everyone but they get me through the day when I do one that's for sure so I'm sleeping at home alone I can't remember the last time the wife wasn't in the bed with me it would have been years and years ago when she went to Sydney with my daughter right so I've got some water sat on the top that you probably can't see it I'm going to pull that out Plenty of slickness there. Now I'm going to be using the Artist Club again because I love it, it's a brilliant razor. But I'm using it today with a brand new Chic P30 blade, which I haven't used for a very, very long time because the Feather Artist Club Super Professional blades, the, the longevity on those blades is just outstanding. Months and months and months, in fact probably over a year that I had that blade in the razor and every time I used it, it was still shaving well. Up until maybe the last one or two shaves, it got a little bit rough, but nothing major. It was still usable, I think. Had I had a shower and softened the beard up first, it would just slice through easily. But generally, like now, it's a cold, not a cold water shave today, it's a warm water shave. But there's no prep work, there's no shower, there's no hot towels. It is what it is. Right, hopefully that should be enough. So I've had, I don't get as many comments now on the channel, which is fair enough, I, I get it, it's not a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's not a dying thing in my life, but it's just not something I do that often now, so you've got to be consistent with these things and keep them going to keep the activity up and keep people in sort of engrossed in it or, or inter interested in watching it at the least but it is a very much a, a product focused channel so if the products aren't new and it's the same shit over and over again it becomes very samey and very boring and I get that but I don't do this anymore really to review many products I have actually just bought a razor believe it or not based on a recommendation from someone. I have seen it before, but I just never really, really interested me. But I found one over here. It just looks like a rebranded version of it. And when it gets here, I should do a video on it. He loves it for head shaves and face shaves. It's a cartridge razor. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't bought a new shaving item for a very long time. This soap, this exact soap, batch 009 of Wickham, has been in my house now. I've been using it now for six years. 2016 I started my channel, I think. Six years I've been using this soap and I've still got it. And it still smells fantastic. In other news, in other, well, I think it's exciting news, certainly for me. You probably noticed that if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, it's a bit of Maple Leaf things happening. It's, the Maple Leafs have always been the team I follow from a very young age. Obviously, I wasn't around when they were winning things, so it's not like I'm a glory hunter. <laughs> but that was the team that my family supported in Canada that lived over in Ontario. And they still do to this day. 
So that was the team I followed. Dougie Gilmore was my favourite player when I was a kid. He was a great player. I don't really remember much about it when I was a kid. There wasn't much hockey to watch on TV, especially in Scotland. There was none. Anything I did get to watch was generally DVDs that were sent over from the States or from Canada. DVDs. VHS. Back then I think it was. I don't think we had DVDs when I played hockey when I was a kid. Alright, I'm just going to dip the tips. But the Leafs today, first game of the Stanley Cup series against Tampa Bay. And I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much. I know they've had a great season, the best season they've ever, ever had. I mean, I put that down to the fact that I'm watching them now. That's, it's got to be, what other reason could it be? They've been shit every other year, so it's got to be me. But I tell you what, I've watched football all my life, soccer, if you're in the States or Canada or in Australia. And it's it's my sport, it's what I've done my whole, I've played it all my life, I've watched it all my life, I've taught my kids it, my kids play it still, well one of my sons does. It's been a part of my life for as, as long as I can remember. And at, at one point when I was a kid, there was a moment when Manchester United won the Champions League. They scored in the last minute, won the Champions League, and the, the feeling that you get that, that buzz, that, that adrenaline rush, the, the goosebumps, the tingles, it, it, it's, it's like watching your kid do the first dance on stage or win a gold medal, or do, it's, it's a phenomenal feeling. Well, I must have had that feeling 50 times today watching the Maple Leafs game because it was absolutely fantastic. It must have been a great game to watch from a neutral point of view. I'm going to start shaving while I'm talking. Feather Artist Club, this is the folding version of this. I think it's a lovely little razor, it really is. You can tighten the screw up as well, which I love. When you get a straight razor, like an actual straight razor, these are a bit of a pain. Sometimes they're a bit loose, and there's nothing I can do with it other than be squishy with some pliers, and I wouldn't want to do that. But this one, you just tighten the screw up, and it, it really holds it solid. Anyway, I'm not talking about that now. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I've only just recently... As in last year, when did I start playing hockey again? June? Maybe around about June? June, July? I started playing ice hockey again. All because of my son, really. He has played football or soccer since he was young. And he's never really, he never really got very good at it. But he's a, he's a trier, you know, he keeps going. And as a parent, that's really all you want from your kids. It's I'll tell you what I like about this blade. I feel very, very safe with this blade. It feels like a buttery smooth straight razor that's not going to slice me up like a feather super professional. That being said, it's still very very sharp, super smooth. This actually feels nicer than the feather does, but they don't last as long from memory. So yeah, he started up hockey. Well, actually, he wanted to start up hockey. But couldn't at the time. We bumped into this Japanese teacher, of all people, who is Canadian, from Toronto. And he played hockey in like a sort of old-timers league. It's just social. Sort of pick-up hockey, whatever you want to call it. So I joined that and got back into it. Started watching 
obviously the season was just starting sort of back then. When did, I can't remember when the season started. Was it around about September time or something? The NHL that is. I watched the... Uh, All or Nothing season on Prime, I think it's on Prime, maybe Stan, I think it's Prime with the Maple Leafs and that got me back into it and I don't really think I've missed a game yet even the ones I've missed I've went back and watched, I've watched all 60, 70, 80 games, I'm not even sure, there's just loads of them they've not all been great, some of them have been bad but obviously going into the Stanley Cup series the last thing I remember playing Tampa Bay was losing 8-1, convincingly. So, to go into this one, I'm thinking, I don't really fancy my chances here, the Stanley Cup champions, two years in a row. I don't really know much about the current players of hockey and things, I'm just learning again. Who the names are, who the good players are, who the, the solid players are, the tough players, the enforcers, the, the skillful players, you know. And, yeah, I just I just thought we were going to get maybe not smashed today, but given the the Leafs woes over the last years, or recent years, and the last fifty years, fifty years since they won a cup, it's it was refreshing to see them come out and literally. Well, I I thought I'm not I'm sure there'll be people out there who disagree with me. I thought they absolutely smashed them from start to finish. They outplayed them in every aspect of the game, other than, I think it was probably the, the, the actual physicality side of things, the checking. But really, They won 5-0, Matthews got two, Marner got one, Muzzin got one, who got the other one? I can't remember who scored the other one, but they were just, they were just brilliant, it was brilliant to watch, it was a fight, the fight was phenomenal, it was one of the best fights I've ever seen, with blood everywhere, it was, it was brilliant. I was going to finish off with this, but do you know what, I've talked so much now on I'm just going to whip it off with this. And I am tired and I am a bit worried about the wife. She's just messaged me now, which is nice. At least I know she's still with us. <laughs> it's a fear that goes through your head. Stuff like that. So I'm just going to tidy these side bins up a little bit with the old. These little things in the back of these races are brilliant. I love them. And So yeah, Stanley Cup, it is nice to be back, you know, it's nice to be back playing the game, I, I do miss it, I missed it all those years ago when I stopped playing, when I was a kid, you know, I stopped playing hockey when I was about 16 maybe, nearly 17. My hockey team I played with, the Glasgow Blackhawks, folded. The uh, race rink shut down, so I had nowhere, really nowhere to play, so I joined another team, Murrayfield, and I couldn't get to a lot of the training sessions, it, it was hard, and come game day I would be sat on the bench in the third or fourth line, bearing in mind that just prior to that I would played for Scotland, and I was a first line defenceman for Glasgow, and we'd finished running up in the Scottish Cup two years in a row, and runner up in the league two years in a row, so... 
and Murray Fuel were nowhere near us. So it was very demoralising to be placed on the bench below players that, who for me were not at my level at that time. It wasn't long after actually that I, oh, it wasn't long before that when I stopped playing that I went to the Dave McElwain in Hockey School in Seaforth in Ontario. I loved it, it was brilliant, I absolutely loved it. I learned a lot at it and I got my, my hockey skates which I've still got them, they're broken now. I broke them over here playing, uh, signed by Mike Watt. Who is actually a, a distant relation of mine, not through blood, but through family. And it was just great, I loved it. You know, and, and it's quite hard now, it's 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 almost upsetting now. I'm you now I'm 38 years old. And I'm looking at some of these players and the one obviously that we've just signed, at least I've just signed, is Mike Giordano. He's 38, he's the same age as me. It just gives you, there's a lot of what ifs, isn't there? There's a lot of things that you got to wonder, would I, would I have done it, would I have made it, would I have got even close? Probably not, but I was a reasonable player for my age. I'm happy with that. I don't think I could really do much better in the condition I'm in. It's quite late as well. So yeah, so... I think I stopped playing when I was about 16, 17. I had a little mini revival when I was 20, what, 21, 22. And that was when I was tripped by my own player, and intentionally, because we were playing against them, I helped out the other team, and my own player tripped me up. I smashed into the boards and broke my collarbone. That was the last time I played, that was when I pretty much quit hockey, when I was 22. And then we came out here, I've just signed for a club. And hopefully, once my, my hamstring's not a million miles away, I, I've got another session with a physio and I've started progressing back towards skating. I've been doing some training sessions and things like that. So I'm, I'm doing quite well. But it's going to be so nice to jump back on the ice again in a competitive sort of game and, and get stuck in again. I can't wait. You know, it's, age is only a number. I've still got a bit of pace about me for an old man. Semi-old man. But anyway, that's me done and dusted. Wickham, 1912. Fantastic. So Darren Barnes over in England makes it. He's a, he's a lovely, lovely guy. Makes, in fact, do you know what he makes? Which my wife uses every single day. Oh, sorry. He used to make it. I don't think he makes it anymore. I might try have to hit him up. He makes this. Now, I know this is probably a simple thing that everyone makes, but it's a glycerin face soap. Just a clear block. This lasts months. This one little block, just washing face. I bought about 10 of them last time. My wife swear by it. Swear by it. Swears by it. She absolutely loves it. The brush is my Rhodium G Point Ceramic Three Band Manchurian. Once again, if, if you watch my last video, I still haven't heard back from Surjan yet. I've got no idea how he's doing. I sent him a message, make sure to see if he was okay, but he's not got back to me. So I'm just fingers crossed that he's all right and he's just having another hiatus. Artist Club with a chic P30 blade and. Really, one of the best things Gillette's ever made, apart from the DE razor. I think this is one of the best cartridges on the planet. The skin guard cartridge. This is the solar.
the pish posh version, the King Siege light. But it's me done and dusted. Now I'm going to finish off now with just a little bit of Zingari Unscented. I'm just slowly working through this now. Not something you want to hear, but this stuff here, if you've got like a rash or anything like that, like I game a lot in terms of Battlefield and things like that on Xbox. I say a lot, not as much as I used to, way, way less than I used to, but I do end up with a rash up my back from my arse crack <laughs> every now and then, just from sitting in a chair for prolonged periods of time, almost like bed sores. This stuff is better than anything else I've ever used. I don't know what she puts in it, well I do because it's written on there, but you, know, you can try all the fancy creams in the world. All you need is a little bottle of unscented Zingari. Goodbye rash, really. So there you go. Now you know about my arse crack rash. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a great day, isn't it? Anyway, stay safe, drive safe, go drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.